doing in the videos? Too bad we can't take Bagheera out with us everywhere, but in these moments, when I'm like, okay, we need to do a foam rolling video, let's do it at the house, so Bagheera can be in. Hello everybody, Taylor and the gang are here. We have Bruce to the left, Bonnie to the right when they both turn, and this is our first child, Bagheera. They're all rescues and uh, we just have so much fun making the videos together. So again, happy Monday, whatever day of the week it is, evening, morning, wherever you are. We're just so happy that you take the time to join us and we're here from Israel, giving you a nice foam rolling experience for your cool down or just, you know, for a daily stretch, whatever that is for you. Bye Bagheera. <laughs> whatever that is for you. Just keep in mind that everything is in moderation and that you need to make it your own and feel good in that moment. So, of course, by all means, you know, I'm just doing what feels good to me and what works for me. Of course, you know, those are those kind of things where I just had the pleasure in order to share with our Power Hour and our 21 Day Fa Challenge Facebook group the opportunity of what foam rolling does for you. So it was really fun. We did six tips to fight cellulite and foam rolling was one of those six tips so that's why i wanted to get more in depth with you guys just so you can kind of get an experience of how i use it and of course you know how maybe you can use it with yourself you can of course share below you know if you use kind of the harder version or the softer when you use them how often so they definitely recommend to use it for at least 10 minutes three days a week of course you can use it every single day more if you want but it's a great uh, way to use something as a cool down to kind of you know recover those muscles so let's go get straight into it and um, the dogs are probably going to move around hopefully not too much just because we are outside of the yard and it tends to have a lot of dogs running by so hopefully they're going to behave for us okay so like i expressed before the foam rollers are very different this one here is a bigger version as you can see it's the foam more softer version so i like to use this if i'm not wanting as much as a deeper rollout versus this one excuse me bonnie this one is going to be more of the rougher type so i kind of tend to use this for my lower body the lighter one for my upper body so let's go ahead and start with the lighter one if you have both options great if you have a foam roller at one of the two that's awesome as well if you do not have a foam roller you are more than welcome to try to get the same experience like i said you can modify anything to your advantage and what works for you so that's why it's super important for you to just feel yourself enjoy if you have questions i'm always here but this is really where we're going to get the most out of it okay so you can definitely move if you like bonnie but this is going to be something here i'm just going to move for your little tail is like i said do what feels good for you you know if you're a little bit more sore in those areas maybe give it a little bit more attention because this is going to help prevent injury and it's going to also give you a deeper stretch in so again like i said before sorry brucey if i'm squishing you do what feels good to you but i like to use the lower half of my bicep area just to kind of you know get that muscle out so let's go ahead and get lower here yeah you guys are more than welcome to leave us if you want but you're going to stay right here with me and we're just going to roll out that back bicep and just kind of get deep into it so you want to take your time with it and of course everyone has their own pace you know that's just something that you're gonna to have to learn to deal with with your kind of you know movement of your body so we did the back bicep here let's do the other side just so that you can kind of feel that motion I bring it all the way up to the shoulder then down to the elbow and like I said you want to keep doing it until you know you don't feel as much soreness there or you get kind of that you know nice stretch you're gonna feel in those moments where you need to stop readjust and go from there so now we just stretch th those biceps now I want to stretch out this area in here so I like to lean more into the depth here and just roll very slowly kind of feel that tension again you're just really gonna have to like the first time you do this switch to the other side you're gonna feel strange you're gonna feel off and you're gonna feel like you're doing something weird which I probably look just as weird right now but that's why I just want you to feel that like this is a moment where it's going to help prevent that, you know, injury. It's going to help break down the scar tissue. You know, there's some other really great features to it. Just kind of feel in there and release. Awesome. Let's just do a little cobra stretch. I do this just because why not? Gets a nice deeper stretch here. Put the foam roller right at the bottom of my belly. I'm not pushing too hard. And this is also going to improve flexibility okay so again it's just like what you want to get the most from your workout that's going to really improve that for you so that's super important so you just saw there that's how i stretch out the front 
Um, like I said, if I want something deeper, I will find moves that are deeper, but I don't want to make this too long of a video for you guys just because you know me, I tend to get on a tangent. So for the back, you want to take your time with it as well. And like I said, not by any means am I telling you this is how you're supposed to do it. I'm, this is how I do it for me to feel well and recover faster and, you know, to feel more flexibility. So, you know, you can kind of support your neck here if you feel that it's, you know, too much pressure. I just feel like I have a big head and it's very heavy. And you just kind of want to roll back and forth here. And what's really important is you take your time with it because it's going to give you that extra moment to just find where that spot is for you and what you need to improve and makes more flexible. Now here I'm gonna bring it up and roll it down to my lower back and I like to roll my entire back, but of course, you know, with the time constraint and the room constraint here, it's not as easy. So again, you know, you can support your neck here if you feel like you have the strength, but I'm just gonna roll my back along here. And I love the softer one for this. It's just a great way to, you know, kind of feel that difference but not get too deep. And release there. Now let's move on to the harder one because this is what I use on my lower half of my body. My lower half of my body has tends to have more cellulite than the top half of my body, so that's why I like to get a little bit more from it there. So, we're gonna stretch the top of our legs here, and like I said, this is what I do after every single workout. Oh, look, you are your back. See, this is why I do workouts here. Oh, I love when you come on the mat and say hello. He's like, why are you bothering me? I'm gone. <laughs> See, too much love, okay. So you're gonna do the top half of your legs here, and don't you worry, we're gonna stretch out those other halves. Like I said, don't wanna make this too long of a video, but this is exactly what I do. So take your time here if you need to, and just kind of go deep into it. Really stretch that hip muscle. And I like to also bring my leg down after. So I put it up for a little bit, bring it down. I also like to bring my body down if I need to. It's just like I said, depending on what day you're in, move your foot around, feel what's deeper for you, okay? And then what's also super important, as I kind of roll to the side a little bit here just to get that side of your thigh. I switch to the other leg. Of course, if I'm not doing a video for all of you guys, I probably will take a little bit more time with it. So that's why I'm saying you don't need to rush here. Just do what feels good and just get that momentum because we want to get the most out of this foam rolling. There's one more tip that I didn't share with you guys. That's like the superb tip of the day to help fight cellulite, which is really, really important, okay? So let's go ahead and move forward. We're gonna stretch in the inner thighs, the outer thighs, and also the back thighs. So right now we just did the front, now we're gonna do the sides, which is very, very helpful, and you're gonna, I don't know if maybe you're gonna like this flow, but this is just exactly what I do. So what's really important is that the foam rolling helps strengthen your fascia. So your fascia is a connective tissue that's all along the body. So you can see here, I'm just kind of replacing it, trying to see what feels good to me and kind of moving it along here. Awesome, great job everybody. Thank you for your time and your effort showing up today. And then we're gonna switch forward here. So just moving the same leg right on over. So your fascia is a connective tissue that is all over your body, okay? Now, what has been proven is the, when you foam roll, it strengthens your fascia. So your fascia, and as you can see here, I'm just taking my time. Sometimes I like to go lower and kind of stretch out my, my back and you know, you feel it all along the body as well as flex your foot, point it, just going back and forth and rolling here. And you can see it's just, you know, a different muscle and kind of stretching up a little bit. You just see, I'm just doing what feels good and I hope you are as well. So the fascia is, you know, something that's all over the body that I was saying earlier. Now, what is cellulite? Well, cellulite is something that, you know, changes the appearance of your skin. It's not bad for your health, but, you know, it can be genetics. It can be, you know, um, some sometimes it's from, you know, having too much fat in between from the muscle to the skin. So it tends to ripple. So what does the fascia do? Well, if you use your foam roller properly and you use it daily or, you know, as much as you can, that's going to strengthen your fascia. Let's go to the other side. So you just saw, I just was rolling, Taylor talks too much and gets distracted. I'll show you on the other side, rolling out the side thigh which to my butt, which is really great. And then I'll show you at the end what I just finished up with and then we're almost done. So other side, that inner thigh. Now, when you strengthen your fascia, it's really great because it's going to help decrease that appearance of the ripples. So when your fascia is weak, that was when your fat is going to protrude through 
and it's going to give that ripple appearance of cellulite. So again, it's just, you know, treatment process, becoming that healthiest, best version of you, making sure that you, you know, get everything in. It's 20% fitness, 80% nutrition, 100% mindset. I can't say it enough. Switch your leg forward here. Rich, they don't like to see your booty. They like to see your beautiful, cute, one-eyed face. Come here, shit. Nobody here is hunting something in the background. So, you know, that's just something that I really, really highly encourage you guys to just kind of have that effect there. And if you are already on a nutrition plan, I'm just so proud of you. And I'm just so thankful to be on this journey. Like starting the next 21 day challenge is just going to be so much fun. And I just get thrilled. It like never gets old. Do you want to go see your brother? Go, go, go see your brother and sister. So this is what I did on the other side. I just tucked in my leg here. Okay. And I'm just using it on that other outer half of my thigh to my boot just to make sure to, um, I just think about it when I'm like using this, I'm like, oh, it's just like one of those uh, tractors that are smoothing out, you know, the, f the floor, the gravel that they just laid. Bruce, go see your sister, stop eating the grass. It's like a cow or something, I've seen too many cows. So just keep rolling it out there, bringing it to that spot. And remember, of course, you wanna target those places that have more of that ripple effect or cellulite. So if that's something you wanna treat, just kind of take advantage of this moment again before we kind of just you know we're feeling it so you want to bring your head down chin to your chest if you need to just kind of like stretch up if you feel that's going to bring more of a deeper stretch everyone is different that's what's so beautiful about it okay so let's go ahead and do the last one here that i do sit that booty on the roar i mean i'm always hearing it crackle and thinking like one day i'm just gonna break this thing but you know it's fine okay that's just gonna tell you so hopefully you can still see me with the sunshine on my back but we are going to bring those arms up a little bit here, just like if you were to use, you know, just the normal stretch. And down here, I feel it so much more in my booty. It's not even funny in the back of my legs. So I actually get way less deeper than I would if I was on the floor. And I just really feel the foam roller where I need it and just kind of, you know, use that pressure to break down, you know, what's tight inside there. So, you know, like I said, by no means this is how you're supposed to do it. This is the tailored style of foam rolling. And again, you know, if you have any suggestions, if you, you know, found something that works for you, I'm like always open to hearing more about this stuff because I'm just all about like sharing the love. And especially right now, I have to tell you guys something. I experienced, well, I'm experiencing because there's day five today. My first Tony Robbins event, and it's just something like you never, it's true what they say. It's the most incredible experience. I feel almost like I'm gonna miss him after, and I don't know what I'm gonna do next. So I definitely think I'm gonna start or uh, sign up for the virtual event in March. So if anyone wants to join me, you're more than welcome. I'm just like so excited. I never experienced like, you know, his full immersion events. So it's just like, definitely you know if you have any questions let me know so now that I'm crooked on my mat I'm going to just scoot my booty down to the floor <laughs> and just kick the roller forward and then I just kind of you know spend a little bit of time on those calves a little bit of arm work out here a little dusty in the back side and then I just work it back up um, I do use this one on my back sometimes but not all the time so like I said if you're feeling like you have a little bit of a bonier back whatever is feeling good to you just don't do what doesn't feel good okay move those legs around and back up to that booty perfect a little bit on the side here just a little extra stretch why not give it your all i don't know where the dog went that's actually like really funny you don't usually let them out of the yard okay great and release now let's go ahead and drop this sucker over here of course, you're more than welcome to stretch out anything else that you feel that it's like, oh, I just need to wiggle it out. But again, I'm always just so happy and, you know, blessed to be a part of this with your journey and, you know, your experience, your results. All of this is just something that I truly live for every single day. And I'm so thankful to have all this experience and tools and people around me that will just want to better us and to be that best version of us. So I highly recommend if you you know, haven't heard of any of this stuff that I've been talking about, let me know. Even with Tony Robbins or foam rolling, like, you know, these are just those things we need to be there for one another to have that community and to be able to share those things that make us feel good or happy and, you know, give us that power every single day. Because 
life is worth living and I've been a person that didn't think that before and that's why now I have that extra strength and I want you to have it too. So thank you again everybody for joining us. Taylor and the gang is gone but I will definitely hope to see you all tomorrow and let me know what workout you want next. Bye everybody.